In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a meta business account, what used to be called a Facebook business manager account. And I'd strongly recommend that if you are going to be advertising on Facebook and Instagram, that you get a proper business account set up. A business account is effectively one central hub where you can organize all of your meta assets very easily and efficiently. So things like your Facebook page, your ad account, your pixel, your Instagram account. You can also give other people access to all those elements and give them the right level of access, which as you scale may become very important. You might want to get other people involved and helping you out with those various things. So it's really important to get all this set up. It doesn't take very long. And once you've got it set up, you don't have to worry about it again. Getting it set up right means that your ad account is less likely to be disabled. Your account is less likely to be hacked. Very good reasons to get this all set up. Here's how you do it. Okay, so we're gonna start right at the beginning by creating a meta business account. Now to do that, you want to come through to this page, which is business.facebook.com forward slash overview. I'll include a link to this page in the video description below. And you want to go ahead and click on create an account. Now, in order to do this, you will need to be logged in to your personal Facebook profile. Meta want to make sure that anyone that's going to be doing anything business related on the Meta platforms, Facebook, Instagram, etc., that there's personal profiles associated with that, helps with accountability and all that sort of stuff. Then you simply just want to come in and enter your business name. So my business name is Lead Guru, for example. Your name will be automatically entered in because you'll be logged in. Um, and then you want to enter in your business email. Now, I can't actually go through the next few stages and show you this because my business already has a number of business accounts set up and there's only so many that Meta let you set up, even when your Facebook ads agency like mine and we've got tens of millions of dollars worth of ad spend across multiple different ad accounts. But just enter in your business email, click submit, and then you just need to go through a very simple process of entering in a few bits of information. And once you've done that, you'll be taken through to the Meta Business Suite, which will look something like this. So the Meta Business Suite is a place where we can manage all of our meta related business assets. So things like Facebook pages, ad accounts, Instagram profiles, WhatsApp accounts, all that sort of stuff is like a central location where you can manage everything. Now, if you've been brought through to the meta business suite and you can't see this sort of stuff on the left hand side, business assets, people, etc., etc., the way you get here is just come down and click on this settings option and you'll be brought, brought through. Now, because you'll have a new um, business account, you won't see all this stuff down here. So for example, here's listed all our business assets. That's what we've got selected. And you can see we, we're a multiple seven figure agency. So when we scroll down, you'll see that we have hundreds and hundreds of ad accounts and Instagram accounts and Facebook pages because we have hundreds of clients at any one time. I can literally just keep going on this forever, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously if I scroll back to the top, um, you're not going to have all this stuff, right? And that's absolutely fine. You're probably gonna have um, nothing added in here. So what you need to do is you need to add in your Facebook page, your Instagram account, um, and either add in an ad account if you already have one or create a brand new ad account. And that's gonna show you how to do right now. So to add a Facebook page into this business account, we'll first go over to pages. Then you want to go ahead and click on add assets and then select Facebook page as the top option. Then within here, there are a few different options. Firstly, if you haven't created a Facebook page um, yet, then you can absolutely go ahead and do one. You will need to create one in order to be able to run ad campaigns properly. So it, you just want to simply click on create a new Facebook page. Um, you enter in a few simple details, very straightforward, and then that's all done. It's already set up in here, nice and easy. I'm not going to go through that process because as you can see, we've already got hundreds of Facebook pages in our business manager. We don't need another one. You can also claim an existing Facebook page. So if I click on this, so if you've created a Facebook page previously, you need to put it into this business account. Um, and the way you do that is exactly what I'm showing you now. You claim a Facebook page, you simply just enter your Facebook page name in here, um, or just go onto that page in a new tab, grab the URL and pop it in here, click next, confirm, add it in, and you're all done, okay? So if you've already created a Facebook page, this is the option that you want to select, but it, that's when it's your Facebook page. If I just cancel out back into add assets for Facebook page, um, or you can request to share a Facebook page. So this is if you don't want to put the Facebook page inside a business account, you don't want to put it into your own um, account and claim ownership of it, but you want access to someone else's Facebook page in order to be able to do work. So if you're offering any sort of Facebook advertising services, anything like that, you can see it's best for agencies who need access to clients page. This is the option that you go ahead and select. If you're just getting started with Facebook advertising, obviously not an option that you're going to be using. Okay, so that's us added in the Facebook page, very important. Next thing is an ad account. So if I go over to ad account, we've got tons and tons in here as well. 
uh, mostly our clients' ones. If we go ahead and click on add assets and then we scroll down to this advertising section and go ahead and select add account. Now, again, if you've never run ads before and you need to create a brand new ad account, that's absolutely fine. You can click on this top option, go through the options. It'll walk you through the process, including how to set up um, billing information, adding uh, payment details, which you'll need to do in order to start running ads. You can claim an existing ad account. So if you've already run ads before, you will have uh, an ad account created and you want to move it into this business account. So if I click on claim an ad account, what you want to do is just grab your ad account ID and I'll show you where to get that now. So I've just jumped over to ads manager. Um, if you're not familiar with this, don't worry, we're definitely gonna to get to this later on. But if you have been running ads already, you probably are familiar with ads manager and your ad account ID is just the number up here alongside the name of your ad account. So you just wanna copy that, head back into your Meta Business Suite, add in your ad account ID, confirm, done, and then that ad account is added in to um, your business account. Okay, very important. And of course, if we just quickly go back into that section here, click on add, add account, you can also request to share an ad account, do the exact same thing as what we talked about the page, but that's more for agencies, not something that I'm going to focus on right now. Okay, so we've got Facebook page added in, we've got an ad account added in. If you've got an Instagram account, I'd also strongly recommend you go ahead and add that in as well. So you wanna go ahead and click on add assets, Instagram account, and then you agree to the terms, you claim an Instagram account, so there's not the option from within the Meta Business Suite to create one, and you need to claim an existing one. If you want to create a new, ad, a new Instagram account, you'll need to head over to Instagram and do that instead. But you click on this, go through, claim Instagram account, it brings up like a new window, you just enter in your Instagram login information, claim the account, and it go, goes ahead and gets added. Now there are also another of other type of assets that you can add in to your Meta Business account. So if I click on add assets, we obviously got WhatsApp account we haven't discussed, but there are other options. In, in advertising, we've got custom conversions, pixels, all that sort of stuff. You can add in catalogs, a number of different options. I'm not going to go through and cover everything. If you're getting started with Facebook and Instagram advertising, a lot of that stuff is far more um, in depth and detailed than you need to worry about at this point. And I don't want to overwhelm you with information and make it much more difficult. One other thing I do want to show you how to set up within Meta Business Suite is how to add in other people into your business account to let them do some of this stuff, whether it's you know posting on your Facebook page or your Instagram account or setting up ads for you or anything like that. You may well have other team members. Now, again, we're a 30 plus person company, so we're all sorts of people in here. You're not gonna see anyone in here and that's absolutely fine when you're just getting started. But what you want to do is go ahead and click on add people. Now you will automatically already be added in. So your profile will automatically already be added in because you're the one who created this business account. Um, but you very simply want to enter in um, an email address. So we could, for example, have example at leadguru.co.uk. Okay, click next. And then we can select what role they get within the business. Do they get employee access? So they're not able to sort of add new accounts or remove them. Um, there's certain things they're not able to do. You can see that Meta gives um, information around that. If you don't want someone to have full control over everything, you wanna go with employee as opposed to admin. Then when you click on next, you can select which business assets that this person does and does not have access to. So if you clicked off on the drop dropdown, um, you can give them access to your page and not your Instagram per account or vice versa. You can give them access to your ad account, but not other stuff. And you can go through and you can select the various options. Then you just go ahead and review invitation, click done, and they will then receive an invite that they can accept either via email or they'll receive a notification when they're logged into their Facebook profile. And then they can be added into your um, business account and they can start doing the sort of stuff that I'm gonna show you how to do in a minute, creating ad campaigns and things like that. Um, I've already mentioned it, but just quickly worth mentioning again, if I just quickly click on billing, it'll open up a new tab for us. And here you can add in new payment methods, okay? Um, and it's really important that you do have a payment method set up. Meta will not let you run a Facebook ad campaign, Instagram ad campaign, if they don't have payment information. You can see on this ad account, for example, we've got a small outstanding balance and it gives you some information around that. You can grab invoices in here. And it's a useful little tool. Now you should be all set up with your business manager account, but that's only the first step when it comes to running Facebook ads that can get real results. I'd strongly encourage you to check out this video next. In that video, I give you a full walkthrough on how to set up Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns that can deliver fantastic results. I go through the entire process, show you how to set up the campaign level, ad set level, ad level, all that sort of stuff. Well worth a watch.